The new Wanbo TT is already updated to 2024 and comes to take the title from the Mikul KP2. Digital greetings for all. I'm Javier Guerrero and here I have one of the top projectors on the market, the Wanbo TT, and that thousands had asked me to review in the comments, and now I understand why. It is an incredible machine, highly recommended and you have to see how well it works. The Wanbo TT arrived imported in this cardboard. Its packaging box is very careful, beautiful and with a lot of information. Inside there is a small starting guide, the Wanbo TT projector in its bag, a good power voltage adapter since it is 19 volts and 6.3 amps, that is, 120 watts, which it needs to generate its 650 ANSI lumens. We also find a power cable and a remote control very different from all Wanbos, much more complete, with a numeric keypad and direct access to Netflix, since the TT integrates this certification. And this is the Wanbo TT, in an elegant matte black color, differentiating itself from other Wanbo projectors that are generally white. At the front it is divided into two sectors with silver rings, above the 5 cm glass lens and below the fan that expels the hot air and this is the autofocus camera. On both sides it has nothing, at the top you have your power button and at the back are your connections. The voltage input, a USB input, an HDMI input, a reset button and an analog audio output. At the top of this grill are the two speakers and below, the fresh air intake area, Finally, at the bottom it has a tripod thread and in addition to its four rubber legs. The Wanbo TT weighs about 4 pounds and is very comfortable to handle, even with one hand. You can see that the finish is not premium, but it is of very good quality and also in this elegant black color, it will be easily hidden in the darkness of a room. The Wanbo TT is a projector that stands out for its elegant black color with silver edges, its Netflix certification and its excellent projection power. It belongs to the new generation of Wanbo 2024 projectors and is consolidated among the most beautiful and best-selling of the brand, not only because of its finish, but also because its specifications are really powerful for this range of projectors and its price is below the Wanbo Mozart 1 projector. You can find the Wanbo TT in their online store for $329, but by using my affiliate link, you will save $40, since it is reduced to $289, not bad. It is a projector that I recommend, if your budget cannot exceed $300, but if your budget is higher, you have the Wanbo Mozart 1 and also the jewel in the crown, the Wanbo Mozart Pro, which I will review soon. And all of them with a discount link. In addition, they have free shipping to several countries in America, but unfortunately, not to all. Once the Wanbo TT is installed on a resistant tripod, it will ask us for an initial configuration, and will even perform a firmware update, to be up to date in 2024. After that, the Wanbo TT does its first autofocus to display the main interface and is ready to use. If you remember a little, this is the same Linux interface of the Mikul KP2. I am not saying that it is a copy, because Linux is free, but Wanbo has decided to use this same interface for its TT. Everything is the same as in the KP2, including the options menu, it is very fast and complete. Regarding corrections, you can zoom the screen, but you won't find other manual corrections, because everything else is corrected automatically, and surprisingly it does it very well. You can move it at any angle or position and it always corrects in two steps, in one step it focuses and in the other it corrects the trapezoid, and I am not exaggerating by saying that it is very fast doing it. It also has the intelligent function to avoid objects before projecting, it does it quite well and very precisely. In addition, I was able to test the projection in three lighting levels in my room, at maximum brightness where it effectively dims, but in my room, this happens to any projector, at medium brightness where the projection is already enjoyable, and in the dark where it obviously generates its best projection. The Wanbo TT operating system is Linux, it is recently updated and works very well. It has its own app store with many interesting applications, although this system can be ignored with a good Android TV box. I installed TikTok among its native applications and it works excellent, it even allows you to read the comments as the video progresses. 
It also integrates a very good and easy to use browser. With the buttons you move this cursor and it allows you to navigate quite easily. It is much better than other browsers that I have used for Android. And the plus of the Wanbo TT is that it integrates Netflix certification, just like the KP2. And I take this opportunity to recommend my streaming account sponsor Gams Go, where you can buy premium account profiles, much cheaper and that really work. If not, look how my Netflix profile number 3 opens perfectly and I can use it fully. On the Wanbo TT you can use Netflix in the maximum resolution of the projector, that is, full HD and that is already enough, because most projectors can only project it in SD or standard resolution. There are few projectors that have the official Netflix certification and the quality is very, very good and I am not exaggerating. I had a couple of guests at home who were amazed at how good this projector looks and even with light the quality of the images is good, of course the brightness is dulled, but the sharpness is maintained. To check it out more closely, I took a photograph of this scene and see how the details look. Even up close the quality is good, smaller pixels and very good definition. What do you think? Linux also has its screen mirroring apps and it works quite well on the Wanbo TT. I found it fluid and efficient, and it continues to work even if you turn off your cell phone screen, which is important to prevent it from downloading while you project. But the best thing is that you compare it yourself with the typical pendulum video and I challenge you to detect whether or not it has a transmission delay. Well, if you detect it, this delay is very small and almost not noticeable. But the most accurate way to measure the delay is with my input lag meter and this will tell us how fast your HDMI port processes. And as you can see, it has 49 milliseconds of input lag, not bad since it is almost the same value as my Sony Smart TV. It is not as low as that of a PC, but they are different devices and it is also the shortest input lag that I have measured on a projector and you can compare that in my previous videos. Regarding sound power, it reaches 85 decibels at maximum volume. So there will be no problems for everyone to hear in a large room. And regarding the brightness generated by the Wanbo TT, according to its specifications it is 650 ANSI lumens and I think that it is a fairly good and bright projection. But after measuring it and capturing the measurement, I obtained about 700 lux of illumination, which it is relatively close to 600 ANSI lumens. Now let's take the Wanbo TT to the 150 inches of my full screen. After autofocus and matching the four corners with the keystone correction, we already have the TT projecting at 150 inches. Although the specifications of the Wanbo TT say a maximum screen of up to 120 inches, there is no problem taking it up to 150 inches and I can assure you of that. Because as you can see, the quality is excellent. The movies look very good, both in their semi-dark scenes, but of course, much better in their illuminated scenes. As with the KP2, with the Wanbo TT you can enjoy a true home theater, with a more than acceptable resolution, decent brightness and enough sound to hear well. Although if you connect it to a Bluetooth speaker, it would be excellent. Turning on the light in my living room causes the projection to dim, but you already know that this happens to most projectors, especially those that are below 2500 lumens. Most mid-cost home projectors are meant to be used in the dark, only then can you take advantage of all their capabilities. Indeed, friends, they did not lie to me when they told me that the Wanbo TT is a good projector. Just like the latest projectors that Wanbo has launched, of course. I recommend it 100%, because it has what many want. Full HD resolution, good ANSI lumens, sharpness, projection quality and all this for under $300. In addition, projecting at 100 inches generates better quality images, the brightness is uniform and homogeneous across the entire screen, as you can see, there are no areas with light spots, and in the corners the sharpness is the same as in the center. I can say, with certainty, 
that from here on, that is, with full HD and 600 ANSI lumens, you begin to have quality projection, below that, it's acceptable, but you won't see it in this quality. Although this is not a versus video, I decided to take a few seconds to compare it with the MiCool KP2, without exhaustive tests or anything, just the interface and some images. As you can see, both use the same Linux interface and also the same options and configuration menu, and both operate it with complete fluidity. It's true, the KP2 has a little more shine, but also keep in mind, it costs a little more. Both project very good images up to 150 inches, but at 100 inches you will get their best performance. I do recommend them for gaming, because even though they are not gamers, their input lag is not exaggeratedly high, and incredibly it is also the same in both. Both are very good projectors, and if you decided on one of them, I'll leave you the purchase links in the video description. Another product, Star of Wanbo. They had already recommended it to me and they were right. For me, it is completely recommended, if you don't want to go over the $300 barrier, it is like a KP2, but with a little less shine and also a little cheaper. Now, if your budget allows you to pay more than $300, there is the Wanbo Mozart 1, obviously with my discount coupon for $320. But if you can go for the best, in two weeks I will receive the new and exclusive Wanbo Mozart Pro, and it already integrates certified Android TV. It will be the bomb. All this new generation of projectors that Wanbo has launched are great. Here it is only a matter of budget, or luck, because I will have all of them in the Rifa tech, and wanting to go to a new home, who wants to adopt them. Thank you for watching the full video and subscribe as God intended so that you are up to date with technology. Help me, and let's democratize technology, until the next video.